Most people build their entire lives around what they think they can afford. In their mind, they see a probable future based on the interpretation of the remembered past. Whenever you think in terms of what you can afford, that scarcity binds you because you are an unlimited being and, and there is nothing you can't have if you do what it takes to get it. So then, what is really stopping you from having what you want? Whenever you believe a thought, I can't afford something, you have already lost it. It's simply not available to you. You disconnect from your desires by following your anxiety. You shut down your creativity and life force. Whenever you worry about money, you've already lost it. Imagine a mother with a five-year-old son. The mother works full-time job, paycheck to paycheck, to support her son. And one day, the doctor tells her that the son needs to undergo a heart surgery. Otherwise, he would die. The surgery is $5,000, but the mother only has $20 in her pocket. What do you think the mother will do? Look inside of her pocket and say, well, sorry, can't afford it. No, she won't say that. She doesn't need the resources for the surgery. She becomes instantaneously resourceful. She will call her family, friends, sell her TV, old camera. She will start an online campaign to raise the funds. She'll do whatever it takes. It's never about the money. It's about her life and what really matters to her. Your soul has a test for you. It brings opportunities your way all the time. When you build your life around what you think you can afford, your entire career will be based on pleasing people just to get a regular paycheck to patch up the, the emptiness inside of you from giving up on your deepest dreams. Do you want to know how to stop losing money? Stop believing in that insane idea of not being able to afford what you deeply desire. Sit down and think about what really matters. Who do you want to become? And, and do whatever it takes to invest in that. Stop wasting money on things that make you feel temporarily better just to keep your false identity alive. It doesn't matter if you have $10 million dollars in the bank or $20 dollars in your pocket. The only difference is in believing either you can't afford it or you can. And taking action from there. I invest in trainings, peace of mind, coaching, relationships that grow me and experiences. Stop losing money by believing it's not available to you. Miracles don't happen while we're waiting at home for that one day we'll have a pile of extra cash just lying around. I have proved myself over and over that I can have anything I want when I truly want it. The only thing I have lost was the image of the perfect self that wants to be liked by everyone. <laughs>